Hello, my name is John and today I will show you what is new in Clarity 10. What are the main highlights? We have introduced the dual chromatogram mode for higher sample throughput. Several changes to improve the GLP mode. A real-time isoplot view is available in the data acquisition window for PDA extension. Method adaptation message now provides additional information. Several improvements have been done in the MS extension. NGA calculation according to a new norm. External control module installer. New and updated control modules are implemented. The dual chromatogram mode enables to use the chromatographs processing two samples simultaneously, GC with dual tower sampler or LC with dual loop sampler. Each analysis will produce two separate chromatograms. It can be enabled using the checkbox in dual chromatogram mode section of system configuration dialog. At least two detector signals should be assigned to the instrument, one to front and one to back position. Positions are selected in the assigned signals dialog. In the dual chromatogram mode every signal in method setup dialog has an assigned position, either front or back. The calculation and advanced tabs are divided into two sub-tabs, one for each position. In the sequence table, many columns have been duplicated so that you can input different values for the front and back positions. The position of the back file is derived from the front position by a fixed offset, specified in the method. For more information about dual chromatogram mode please refer to M251 manual. A new checkbox in the GLP options dialog allows to disable the deletion or renaming of an existing user. You can edit the user name only after the creation of the user, before saving the user accounts. The user account can be disabled manually or automatically. Set the number of login attempts in the password restrictions section. After reaching the limit of failed login attempts, the corresponding user account will be disabled until someone will enable it manually. The accounts with access to user accounts dialog will be disabled for one hour to prevent the deadlock. For manual disabling of the account use the new disable button located to the left of the list of users. In compliance with GLP regulations a new access right for opening audit trails is available. In the printout from the audit trail, there is a new header with basic information about who printed what files and when. The data acquisition window allows for real-time monitoring of the measured data. Now it can display also the PDA ISO plot in the real-time. The view menu has been rearranged to enable smooth switching between the signal, spectra and ISO plot views. The PDA and MS spectra and ISO plot view are available in the corresponding extensions. The method adaptation message will now include the information about the control modules and other reasons requiring method adaptation. Methods from the previous versions of Clarity may therefore require a one-time adaptation. In Clarity 10.0 several improvements for MS extension have been done. Users can newly select multiple libraries which should be used for search also on single compound search tab. MS method tab is available for evaluation also in chromatograms without spectral data, such as those with only standard signal from not MS detector. Since Clarity 9.1 we offer the developers a custom-made control module package installer. It allows to add or update approved control modules outside the official Clarity release schedule. Currently packages for Kurei Tech and Weil modules are available. Clarity 10 also includes other changes, such as new colored info bars that easily indicate clarity installation type. Improvements in NGA calculation and support for calculation according to a new norm. Improvements in printing from sequence and a lot more. Following control modules are new since version 9. and many others have been updated and improved. Thank you for your interest in Clarity and upgrade to version 10 yet today.